everything about history. Hello everyone, today we will give you a quick overview of the youth and military career of Mustafa Kemal Editor, the founder and great leader of Turkey, in just 3 minutes. If you enjoy our video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Now, let's get started. Mustafa Kemal Atatürk was born in Thessaloniki in 1881. He received military education at a young age and enrolled in the military academy. Throughout his military career, he served in the Balkan Wars and later in World War I he became particularly renowned for his heroism at Gallipoli. Atatürk gained recognition for his exceptional strategic abilities during the Battle of Gallipoli in the First World War. In this battle, he successfully repelled an unexpected enemy assault, leading the Turkish army to victory. This success demonstrated his military genius and leadership skills to the world. Ataturk led Turkey's War of Independence following World War I, a pivotal struggle against foreign occupation and internal dissent. His strategic brilliance and charismatic leadership united the Turkish people, driving them to reclaim their homeland and establish the Republic of Turkey. After the Turkish War of Independence, Ataturk initiated sweeping reforms to modernize and westernize the newly founded Republic of Turkey. The proclamation of the Republic in 1923 marked the beginning of these transformative changes. Ataturk introduced a series of political, legal, and social reforms aimed at creating a secular, democratic, and modern nation-state. These reforms included the introduction of the Latin alphabet, the abolition of the Caliphate and the Sultanate, the adoption of European legal codes, and granting women the right to vote and to hold public office. His vision and determination laid the foundation for the modern Turkish state and continue to influence Turkey's political and social landscape today. Under Ataturk's leadership, significant educational and cultural reforms were implemented to modernize and secularize Turkey. One of the most notable reforms was the adoption of the Latin alphabet in 1928, replacing the Arabic script which had been used for centuries. This monumental change aimed to increase literacy rates and facilitate communication with the Western world. In just three minutes, we've learned about Ataturk's incredible achievements. He was a revolutionary figure, standing firm against world leaders, defending his people, and implementing brilliant military strategies. His profound understanding of various cultures, his knowledge about nations, and even his habit of reading books during wartime exemplify the kind of leader he was. If you enjoyed and learned something new, don't forget to subscribe for more and like my videos.